Okay, Brian, I'll give you a demo. So I'm running up the printer admin tool. I've got um, these printers here are mapped through from my client machine. So these are the back on my um, normal PC, and then I've remoted in obviously to this machine here. Um, what I'll do is I'll drop in here, and I'm just going to add more your account, which is what I'm logged in as, to two printers. I'll add Brian. Do that printer one and printer two in Farnborough. So I've got um, the Brian Dukes account added to two printers. I'll save changes, close down the printer admin tool. And then I've got uh, a shortcut on your desktop for mapping printers, which is the thing that runs at logon normally, but we might as well just do that now. Run the map printers. The utility starts up, print the map, blah, 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 and then we see the printers arrive. Beautiful, printer one, printer two, lovely as expected. Um, now the default was coming through from my um, endpoint, uh, which is sort of part of the problem basically. So the, the, the default one's set there. So if we go over to uh, print selector as a user and say we run up our tool from a user perspective rather than an admin and go to my printers and I can see my two printers there and if I click printer one and hit set as default and apply changes it didn't apply the change over there so printer one isn't my default and we'll do it on the printer two as well so set that as default and save the changes and again, it just hasn't changed um, at all there. Now, the interesting thing is, if we go into the registry, and we drill down into the key of the default printer, which is current user Microsoft, oh, sorry, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, uh, oh no, sorry, it's not that one. Windows NT current version, and then Windows, and we look at the device key there, which is what's the default printer, and that's actually set to our printer two. So the registry key has been populated by your app absolutely fine. It's just the Windows thing here hasn't done it. And if I do like a refresh, you know, it's just not picking it up. Now the other. Oh, Fresh taking a while. Now, if I manually come in here and then I right click and I set as a default printer here, so printer one is now our default, then I flick back to our tool and do uh, so. I set printer one as a default there. Um, <coughs> obviously, the, the control panel here is a bit confused, so I'll set it as um, printer one, save it, and then I'll set it as printer two, set it and apply it. And bada bing, it changed over here to printer two, and then if we uh, Assign it to printer one here and set as default. That's right, and then apply the changes. Bang, it goes back. So, kind of like now we're working, and that's fine for the session. Um, the problem is that actually, if we log off and log back on as the user, then um, RDP or Citrix will basically set this one as the default printer again, and our little, our little script just doesn't, doesn't really win. So, um, Again, if we put that to two and apply the change and then close it, so it's on printer two, um, set it manually as printer one, rerun our map, so pretending we're logging on again, but without any of the um, buggy code, you know, it works, works fine. It's just this mapping of print, uh, printers back on the clients that's causing the problem. So I don't know if you know how it works, but basically in uh, Citrix World, there's some policies, and in... Um, <coughs> Microsoft Word, it's uh, world, it's inside mm. inside my um, um, RDP session settings. So I say, please take my printers inside the uh, inside the session. So when you do uh, MSTFC to launch the RDP client, and then you go inside of options and experience, no advanced, where is it? Local resources. And uh, sorry, it was on there. Local resources and printers is selected. That's why I'm getting the printers through from my uh, from my in my in machine into my session. 
Um, so uh, if you can have a look for me, um, <coughs> if you basically log on to the, with the instructions I'm going to give you, you're going to get this desktop that I've got here, and you've got the three icons on the desktop for um, the admin tool, um, the client add their own printers thing, and the batch file to, to run the mapping of the printers. And obviously you're an admin on this box, so you can do whatever you want, you can install whatever you want, um, fill your boots. But yeah, it's a bit weird that the registry key is getting populated and Windows isn't isn't really doing its, doing its job. Sorry for the wobbly video, it's very hard to, to, for me to look at the screen and look and hold the, hold the phone.